Hi there, it's Adam, and I just want to talk about my last video because I've had so, I've had at least three conversations since releasing my last video, which was effectively that if you've got um, a, an issue with your your close family, then that will Im influence your sleep. And some people have phoned me and said, but I, do, I don't get it, Adam. I don't see how that, that relates to me. I've got a sleep problem. I've got a great relationship with my, my family. Well, these are, it's just one thing. Um, I'm going to be drip feeding different factors that can contribute to sleep problems because this is like a perfect storm. It's a multitude of things coming at us from different angles that always create sleep problems. Family is just one of them. Being in a job that you don't love stress keeps you awake being in a relationship that you don't love where you don't love the other person or you're not happy with the situation or you're falling out or you're too spending too much time together because of covid another situation family pressures financial pressures another situation that can contribute and all of this multitude of forces all come together so it's never just one thing a sleep problem is never just one thing you can talk about meditation and relaxation and eating the right foods and certain things to drink. That's a bit like pruning a tree. If the tree is the problem, you need to get the root. And you can go around pruning the branches and dealing with diet and, and things like your weight and your exercise routine. It's pruning branches on a tree. Now that might get you to sleep in the short term, but the tree will grow back eventually. And this is how sleep and mental health issues evolve. Some people prefer to prune the branches, other people are ready to go for the root. Now, however many branches you, you're ready to take off uh, to get to the root, well, that's up to you because some people reach a certain level of a relief and then they don't want to touch the deeper rooted stuff, which is perfectly normal. It was certainly my journey. There were certain areas that I wasn't ready to touch or deal with at certain stages of the journey, but it's all about sleep. It's all about multiple forces and it's all about understanding what contributes to that. And that gets you halfway to raising your awareness of how to get a better night's sleep.